The Three Musketeers. He crouched and aimed. He was so fearless and agile. He ran to the center of the forest. And... Hmm. Meets D'Artagnan. <coughs> the boy who was meant to do great things. Well, starting that very day. For that was the day he was to leave for Paris to become a musketeer. D'Artagnan lived in the town of Gascony in France. And he had but one dream. To become a musketeer to the King of France. The dream was introduced by his father when D'Artagnan was just a boy. What is this, father? This is a very special badge that I made for you. The Badge of Honor. This badge will help you keep your focus on your goal to become a musketeer. You know who a musketeer is? <laughs> a musketeer is a very special soldier of France with many talents and skills. But the foremost quality of a musketeer is a strong desire to defend the honor of his and those around him. All for one and one for all. Tell me, child, do you want to become a musketeer? All for one, one for all. <laughs> D'Artagnan went back home and looked at the letter of introduction given by his father once again. Son, this letter of introduction will help you get to the captain of the musketeers, who is a Gascon. But after that, it's all up to you. I will make you proud, father. I know you will. And remember, son, defend your honor and of those around you. All for one, one for all. With the letter in his hands and the badge of honor on his chest, D'Artagnan courageously stepped forward on his horse Tito. After traveling day and night for weeks together, D'Artagnan took his final break at an inn just before reaching Paris. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A cow, perhaps? Well, the human of his horse must be equally funny. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you! I am the future musketeer of the King of France, and you shall not insult me or my horse. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be a musketeer. How so? What are your skills? To make your rib cage visible? <laughs> oh no, perhaps to dress this fantastically? <laughs> you are lying. D'Artagnan knew that he had neither the clothes nor the muscles of that of the musketeers, but he had the courage to defend his honor. What D'Artagnan didn't know is that these goons were given a contract by the neighboring kingdom to abduct the princess of France. And they were on their way to pick up supplies with their plan to attack the palace soon. All our D'Artagnan knew is that he will not have anybody insult him and his beloved horse. This is my letter of introduction for the captain of the musketeers. I shall go there and prove you wrong. You shall see. One of the goons snatched the letter and tore it into pieces. Oops. D'Artagnan was furious. He darted towards them, but tripped and fell into a pool of mud. If this is how all the musketeers are, 
It will be so easy to abduct the princess. Shh. Are you out of your mind? Don't fret about it. Nobody's going to hear us here other than this boy. And it's not like he can stop us. Enough of this joking around. Let's go. We've got work to do. D'Artagnan gathered himself up after the goons were gone. They're going to abduct the princess. I have to warn the palace. <laughs> I know, I don't have the letter, Tito, but letter or not. Any attack on the palace is an attack on a musketeer. Which means it is an attack on me. Remember the motto of the musketeers. All for one and one for all. It was after two days that D'Artagnan reached Paris and entered the palace. He was in awe with where he was at. As he looked around, he saw that many noble men had come to become musketeers. They all had good clothes and gorgeous personalities. And amidst all, D'Artagnan felt completely out of place. He had forgotten about the important message for the king. When someone tapped on his shoulder. You, boy! Are you the new helper for the party tonight? You're late! We have so much to do! Come on now! Chop, chop! I don't have the letter, and it shall take me forever to have a council with the king. I must take this opportunity to get closer to the king and warn him about the goons who are going to attack the palace. All kings, rulers, and noblemen attended the party, which was the most lavish party D'Artagnan had ever been to. <laughs> Do you... do you wish for more juice, sire? Of course I do. Can't you see my glass is empty? Go and get me some. There's nothing noble about this nobleman for sure. Swallowing his pride, D'Artagnan continued to serve in the party. Ow! Not quite well, though. Soon, the crowd dispersed as the night fell. And D'Artagnan saw that the king was alone for him to approach. As he was approaching the king, D'Artagnan saw that a nobleman was standing on a maiden's handkerchief. Excuse me. You seem to be a noble person, but you have no manners? You're standing on the maiden's handkerchief. Huh? There you go, madame. How dare you insult me! It is not my fault if your nobility gets in the way of your chivalry. Enough! I am Aramis, the musketeer to the king of France. You have made the wrong call of defying me, boy. I challenge you to a duel. D'Artagnan realized that the man in front of him was the musketeer Aramis. But he had to defend his honor. He accepted the challenge. All right, then. Tomorrow morning, we shall fight for honor. Aramis left, and to D'Artagnan's bad luck, so had the king. <sighs> D'Artagnan knew that if he talked about the goons now, then nobody would trust him. They would think that he is making it up to withdraw from the duel. D'Artagnan practiced for the duel the whole night. Ha! The morning came, and sharp at 7 a.m., D'Artagnan was standing in front of the palace. That's when he saw them. Arthos, Parthos, and Aramis, walking like three people in one body. D'Artagnan had expected nothing less. 
He knew very well that challenging one musketeer means challenging all. Don't worry, boy. It is a duel, and you will only be fighting Brother Aramis. Parthos and I are here to see your medal. But I don't have any medal. Metal! Not metal! Metal means your spirit, lad! And the duel began. Huh? Who are you? Explain yourself. Oh well, we are here to abduct the princess. You see, we were given this contract by the neighboring kingdom and... Stop talking! You don't have to explain yourself just because he said so. You give us the princess and we will step aside. We outnumber you, musketeers. Even as specialized as you are, this is a losing battle for you. Wait a second, you? We know you. You're the good-for-nothing boy who is here to become a musketeer. Huh? I wanted to caution the king about them. That is why I accepted to become the helper. I wanted a council with the king. You should have started with that information, lad. <laughs> Not that his presence matters. You should probably sit in a corner, boy, while the adults sort this out. <laughs> you fail to understand the difference between you and myself. You may have stronger muscles, but it means little in front of my determination to defend the honor of the palace. Whether I become a musketeer or not today, I choose to fight. D'Artagnan looked at Aramis, and in one glance, they both became brothers rather than enemies. For now they would not fight each other, but would fight together to defend the palace. Ah, attack! D'Artagnan and the three musketeers were fearless. The goons and their arrowings were rendered helpless in the face of sheer skills and courage. Ha! In the name of France! Ha! This all you got? By the time the guards of the palace reached the spot, the three musketeers and D'Artagnan had defeated the goons. They were arrested and taken to be tried by the court of law. As D'Artagnan looked at the other three musketeers, he felt a sense of brotherhood like never before. I am impressed by your valor, young man. I hear you are here to become a musketeer? Yes, your majesty. I had the letter of introduction from my father for the captain of the musketeers, but the goons tore it up. And you continued your journey nevertheless? Yes, your majesty. Hmm. I know that there are about four people who are ready to give you a letter of introduction to get into the Royal Academy. Arthos, Parthos, Aramis, and the captain of the musketeers himself. Uh, five if you include me. <laughs> I am honored, your majesty. D'Artagnan was taken into the Royal Academy to train to become a musketeer. And if that wasn't enough, he now had three courageous friends and a brilliant future. D'Artagnan called his father to France, where his new friends made arrangements for him to stay close to his son. They all lived merrily, while D'Artagnan was on his way to become the fourth official musketeer to the King of France. <laughs>